Hi students, welcome to my channel study. Here, we are going to talk about Sharma, class 10th mathematics, class, chapter 1 real numbers, class, very short answer type question. So, what do we Answer each of the following questions either in one word, one sentence, or as per requirement of the questions. So, 25th question. What do we say? What is a composite number? Composite number can be defined as numbers that have more than two factors. Numbers that are not primes are composite numbers because they are divisible by more than two numbers example eduthukalaangala ipo factors of 2 nu eduthukitam appadina idoda factors enna adu 1 2 and 4 since 4 has a more than two factors so 4 is a composite number 6 eduthukitamna idoda factors enna 1 2 3 and 6 since 6 also has more than two factors so 6 is also a composite number next question 26th question enna solranga pi is an irrational number true or false ah nu kekranga pi na enna pi is the ratio of the circle circumference to a diameter it is a constant value which is approximately equal to 3.141592653539 abbi poite irukum pi is non terminating and non repeating sequence of numbers and cannot be expressed as the ratio of two integers hence pi is an irrational number appa kuduthiruka statement vande it's true 27th question enna solranga the sum of two prime numbers is always a prime number true or false ah nu kekranga The sum of two prime numbers is always a prime number. It's a false statement. In a reason, Kurukala. Let us prove the above by taking an example. Let the two numbers be two and seven. If in the two and seven, we will get sum of numbers. We will get nine, and nine is not a prime number. Hence, the above statement is false. Twenty eighth question. In a solution, the product of any three consecutive natural numbers is always divisible by six. True or false? Sun ke karanga. The product of any three natural number is divisible by six is true. In a reason, we can let the three consecutive numbers be one, two, and three. Our other product, that we can do, it will be six, which is divisible by six. Let the other set of three consecutive numbers be three, four, five. Let the lam. If I do the product, then that is sixty, which is divisible by six. Hence, the statement given is true. Next question: For what value of n, 2 power n and 5 power n end in 5 in range? So we need to find the value of n for which 2 power n and 5 power n ends in 5. Clearly, 2 power n into 5 power n, every other one, 2 into 5 power n, that is equal to 10 power n. So 10 power n, na wago yapo me vandre all the values of n will make 10 power n end with zero da. So there is no value of n for which 2 power n into 5 power n ends in 